Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is, can the New York Knicks mix, make Stephen A. Smith the happiest man in sports? So that's the topic I want to get into today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, be on the lookout for our Dreamers Pro Premium platform, and also be on the lookout for DreamersPro.com. Which we're public, which we're looking to launch at the end of this month. So anyway, let me get into this right here. So I haven't spoken about the Knicks. I don't even think at all on this channel, right? So let me just get into the Knicks today because it's it's a topic I've been thinking about, uh, but now I think is the best time to finally go ahead and touch on it. So as a kid that grew up in New York, right? I grew up in Bronx, New York. I went to junior high and high school in in, uh, in New York, which is which which was a very unique experience. I love it because it kind of shaped me who I am and made me kind of. Um, tough and all of that because new york is a pretty tough place depending on where you grew up at right that's why i got into all my fights and all of that different stuff and i kind of got to see the other side of life right you, you get new york living in new york you get a much more kind of um real life look at the world right if you live in certain parts in, in the united states maybe you live in the suburbs you don't have a real concept of what reality is but in in, in new york you can be on a subway standing next to a millionaire standing next to a guy that's delivering pizza like and it, all of those things are quite common in new york and it's a melting pot and and it, uh <laughs> the bronx is no exception so i had a you know uh it, it was a great experience growing up uh, growing up in new york but growing up in new york man there's one thing i didn't know about uh new yorkers is that the new yorkers love their knicks like they're really really passionate about the knicks in new york like it's not a joke i had a i had a friend that i knew in high school uh his name was cheyenne right and Cheyenne always used to come to school back then when we used to wear jerseys. He always used to have on his Knicks jersey, man. Even, like, after high school, I would see him sometimes on Facebook. He was always posting stuff about the Knicks. And Knicks are, are never good. Like, the Knicks are never good. And the Knicks have been the Knicks have been horrible for the past two decades. Let's, let me just put this in context for you guys. In the last 20 years, in the last two decades, in the last 20 years, the Knicks have only made the playoffs six times. Let me say that again. The Knicks in the last 20 years have only made the playoffs six times. Think about how ridiculous of a stat that that's think about how bad the New York Knicks have been to only have made the playoffs six times in the last. It's like talking about the Dallas Cowboys or something. Like it's it's unbelievable. Like they've been so bad but for whatever reason the new york knicks are still beloved by so many uh, uh, uh new yorkers and fans all around the world it's the reason why even though that the new york knicks have been so bad like so bad the new york knicks are still the most valuable team in the nba worth 4.6 billion dollars the new york knicks as being one of the the worst franchises that we're talking about performance in the nba over the last 20 years is still the most valued team in the nba and the number two team behind them is the los angeles lakers that have 17 uh championship uh, banners think about that the lakers that have 17 championship banners they probably have what i don't know six nba titles in the last i don't know maybe no they had three with Shaq and kobe then they had kobe yeah six t titles in the last what 15 years and then you talk about the knicks there's only made the playoffs six times in the last 20 years and they're still worth more than the then they're still worth more than the los angeles lakers just goes to show you how big of a brand the new york knicks are and just how much support they get from all over the world now i remember when the Knicks went through so many different phases, I remember the Stephon Marbury Knicks when the, they, I think they made the playoffs once or twice with him. Nothing happened. Then I remember when they got uh, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Francis and the, the New Yorkers thought, oh, okay, you know, the Knicks are going to do well this year. Nothing happened. Then they went and got Tracy McGrady, who at this time was like injured. He had like one game and then nothing happened. Then they went and got Amari Stoudemire, who, to be fair, Amari Stoudemire, uh, at that time made the Knicks relevant like he made the Knicks fun to watch he made them compete hard Amari Stoudemire I think will forever be beloved in the city of New York because he I mean he really took that entire 
City on his back, and he repped the New York Knicks like for real, and they were playing really good. And then they went and got Carmelo Anthony, and all of a sudden, Amari Stoudemire and Carmelo Anthony, for whatever reasons, their games did not fit together. Like, their games didn't work out together, and then Amari Stoudemire, I think, got injured, and then Amari Stoudemire left, and then it was, I remember the Carmelo Anthony era, where they, I think they made the playoffs, they might have made the playoffs once or twice with Carmelo Anthony. I remember they did make the playoffs once, and they were knocked out by the Miami Heat. That's when LeBron James and D. Wade and Chris Bosh were on the same team. Then they got knocked out of the playoffs then. And then since and then they went and got Phil Jackson. They went and got Phil Jackson, who was supposed to go out there and recruit all of these players. And in his credit, he drafted Chris Stapps Porzingis. But since the organization was so, I mean, mediocre at their job, I mean, just I mean, they were they were they were horrible at their job. After one or two years, Chris Stapps Porzingis said, "Listen, I can't take it anymore. Get me the hell out of there." And Chris Stapps Porzingis left. They gave Phil Jackson a sixty, I think it was like a sixty million dollar contract. After a few seasons, he didn't even want to be there again. And then they just turned into the laughing stock. You all know Jim Dolan. You know the you know the the big spat that he had with Charles Oakley when Charles Oakley had to be escorted out of the arena. Think about it. Charles Oakley, one of the the greatest Knicks players, one of the most respected players, one of the most the, the hardest working players in the history of that organization, had to be escorted out by police. Uh, because of Jim Dolan, I think something he was saying about sell the team or something like that. Then y'all remember this, the issue with Spike Lee. Spike Lee, who has spent millions of, uh, millions of dollars patronizing that product, who's a season ticket holder, who went on ESPN First Take and complained about the fact, oh, the Knicks are very, very nice when it's time for you to pay your season ticket uh, money. They always you know, send you your invoice, oh, pay this and this and this and this. But then Spike Lee was told that he couldn't walk through a certain door. Then he had to go on TV and talk about what the hell is going on. Think about all of these missteps that the Knicks have had over the last 20 years. It's been a complete and utter joke. And that's the reason why uh, Max Kellerman never pays them any mind he says they're the worst organization ran organization in all of sports but for this season something unique is happening for the first time in god knows how long the new york knicks are 500 they have a five and four record when was the last time that the new york knicks had a five and four i mean it's unreal it's unbelievable that the new york knicks the new york knicks are above 500. I couldn't even remember the last time they were above 500. And right now, if we look at the NBA standing, although it's early, they're the number five seed in the Eastern Conference. Just to show you how bad some teams have been this, this season that the New York Knicks are the number five seed in the Eastern Conference. I mean, it just So that means if the, if, the, if the season ended today, the Knicks would make the playoffs. The Knicks! would make the playoffs. And you saw Stephen A. Smith come on ESPN talking about how he's excited and, you know, wow, I can't believe the Knicks. And, and Max Kellen was like, man, man, just cut it out. Like, please, just stop. You never learn. You never learn. You never learn. You got the Brooklyn Nets and you're still there rooting for the for the New York Knicks. But that's how New York Knicks fans are, man. They're die hard. Yeah, they got the Brooklyn Nets, but not, they're not really checking for the Brooklyn. They want their Knicks uh, to do well. And if the New York Knicks made the playoffs this season trust me Stephen a smith would be the happiest man uh, uh you know happiest man in sports i truly believe so like he's a new yorker so of course he would want he's from queens so I'm, of course you would want his team to make the play and i think if they do he would be the happiest man uh you know in sports and secondly if they do make the playoffs it would be good for the league because let's, let's face it the new york knicks new york is the biggest um uh what do you call it it's the biggest market in all of in all of america one of the biggest markets in the world let's be it's the financial capital of the world some people say london is new york new york is the financial capital of the entire world and when they do good it's good for the nba just look at the fact that how much that team is worth and they've been this bad so imagine if the knicks were a pretty good team just imagine what that would do for the nba and the and, 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 and the excuse me and its product so for me i think if they i think if they make the knicks if they make the playoff the knicks make the playoff steven Asif is going to be a happy guy so what i want to know from you guys is do you agree with me or do you disagree with me whatever you guys think please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section uh, below once again if you enjoyed the video please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content once again this is charles here from dreamers pro wishing you guys an amazing day catch you guys on the next episode peace